very important concept called as a resonance in chemistry. Okay. So, resonance is nothing but it is the delocalization of the pi electrons. You know, your bond, sigma bond, pi bond. Okay. So, your pi bond electrons and the lone pair electrons in parallel p orbitals. Huh? So, you know, delocalization means shifting the place from one place to other. That is called as delocalization. Okay. Now, let us see the example so that you will get more clarity. Why we are reading about this? For example, O3, ozone you take it. So, when you take O3 ozone, you know your structure of ozone will be either maybe like this or maybe like this. Both way we can represent it. So, if you are representing the same molecules in two different or three different ways, then that presentation or that structure it is called as a resonance structure or it is also called as the canonical form. Fine. So, this is nothing but your a resonance structure or canonical form. Fine. So, actually this is imaginary structure. Now, question will arise in your mind. Then why you are studying this imaginary structure if it is not real? Because this imaginary or canonical structure through, we are able to explain the properties of it. If we are going to directly the real hybrid structure which is really existing, but we are not able to explain the properties of that particular molecule or structure. Hence, we are taking the help of this imaginary or canonical forms or resonance structures. Okay. So, but what's the, why we are going to real and what exactly makes the difference between this imaginary and real. See, for example, if you are seeing your carbon and carbon single bond, what you find? The bond length is nothing but 1.54 angstrom. If you go for double bond, you will find 1.54. 3, 4 angstrom. Now, for example, you are considering a benzene structure. You know benzene structure, your 3 single bond and 3 will be double bond. So, definitely according to this, you should find your bond length. Am I right? But this is the two different way you are presenting. So, this two is nothing but called as canonical structure or a resonance structure. But practically when you see that, what you find that, the overall you find the bond length is 1.39 angstrom. Now neither it is equal to double bond nor it is equal to single bond. 1.39 angstrom which is in between these two values. So this is nothing but called as a real hybrid structure. Okay. So how the way we are representing instead of neither representing in this terms of solid lines we are representing it in terms of a dotted lines because that bonds are equally distributed in that. Though imaginary or canonical way we are representing it just to explain the properties of that particular structure. Now you can see one more example also. For example, you take your allyl carbocation. Now if you see your allyl carbocation, it is CS2 double bond CS, single bond CS2. So delocalization means your bonds will break and electrons will move from that. So here the first pi bond break. So when your pi bond break, then this bond shift here. So, now this double bond turn to single bond and this single bond turn to double bond. So, at that time what will happen? Your carbon will be getting the partially positive charge, this carbon. Okay, now it is getting double bond, that charge is removed. So, this is the way you are finding, this is nothing but your canonical or imaginary or resonance structure. But practically if you see, actually it is not happening. Practically or this is called as real hybrid structure. What you will find? CH2, single bond CS, single bond CS2 and we are putting these dot lines to show that because the bond length remains same in both the cases. But how the way we are representing? One is double bond, one is single bond. So obviously double length, double bond, whatever the bond length and single bond, whatever the bond length, it varies a lot. But when it is coming to real, we are finding it is same bond length. So to represent that, we are taking the help of a one solid line along with one dotted line. This is actually real structure. The name is real hybrid structure. Then why we are studying this? Just in order to make the analysis and explain about the property structure of that particular molecule. That's what we are studying. Now, if you see practical point of view also, you can see one side double bond, one side single bond. So, obviously it is imbalance, unsymmetrical. And also, as the charges are not spreading uniformly, so obviously there is more energy or more reactivity. So, they are less stable. So, everything wants to be stable. So, practically, 
they are uniformly distributing this charge this carbon starting carbon and ending carbon both will be partially positively charged so that there will be spreading of the charges uniformly hence this structure is more stable so more stable means less energy this is practically happening and this is called as a real hybrid so resonance structure is nothing but it is in which there will be delocalization of the electrons which type of electrons pi bond electrons and lone pair electrons what is the purpose just to explain the properties and these are all nothing but called as imaginary structures or canonical structures or resonant structures but what about real hybrid it is nothing but the real structure but in that we are not able to explain it that's why right. uh, i hope you get the clarity of arizonan structure even you can try with uh, co2 hmm? carbon dioxide you can try your arizonan structure you will get more clarity okay students take care bye bye